Back now from Cairo, anti-government protesters first took to the streets on Tuesday of last week, inspired by the overthrow of Tunisia's dictator. But the roots of this Egyptian uprising trace back farther than that to last June, when a young man was murdered in Alexandria. Chief Foreign Affairs correspondent Lara Logan picks up the story from there. This is 28-year-old Khaled Saeed. And this is what can happen to you in Egypt if you try to expose corrupt policemen. He was beaten to death last June by two policemen on a public street. Retaliation, his friends believe, for this video Khaled posted on the internet. It shows policemen allegedly sharing the spoils of a drug bust. All of us are Khaled's side because we, 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 we can face or we might face the same destiny uh, at any point of time. This man agreed to talk to us if his identity was hidden. He's one of the key organizers of the protests that have rocked Egypt. Was Khaled's death a catalyst for um, this people's revolution? Definitely. Definitely. The disturbing image of Khaled's broken face was posted on Facebook. The image sparked a cyber campaign that spread outrage amongst Egypt's youth. They took that message from internet chat rooms to the streets of Cairo just days after his death, and then to Khaled's hometown of Alexandria. His story spread, and Khaled Saeed, a middle-class businessman, became an explosive symbol of police brutality under Hosni Mubarak's rule. The abuse you see by policemen in these internet videos is just a glimpse of what Egyptians say they've lived with for decades. Khaled was lucky. Let's be, let's say, let's be honest, because many, many people were tortured, were killed, but no one knows, you know, no one knows about them. No one knows their names. N their names, the details, the, what happened after their death, and no one knows. Khaled Saeed's story and the revolution it inspired is now a permanent part of Egyptian history. Lara Logan, CBS News, Alexandria, Egypt. Recapping another tumultuous day here in Cairo, supporters of President Mubarak clashed with anti-government protesters today. Stones, bottles and firebombs rained down on Liberation Square. Gunfire rang out. As of now, at least three are dead and more than 600 injured. The Obama administration stepped up the pressure on Mubarak to begin the transition of power. Spokesman Robert Gibbs said, quote, now means now. Egypt's army ordered protesters to clear the streets, and the crowds here have thinned, but the protests apparently will continue. That is the CBS Evening News for tonight. I'm Katie Couric reporting from Cairo. Thank you for watching. Good night.